Hello, this is Eight. Today's video is about who I would like to suggest this camera, the Fuji XM5. Of course, it's a personal opinion, so if you have different opinions on this, you can always share it on the comment. But please don't argue. And after telling you about this, I'll show you some comparison POV video using my Fuji XM5 and Fuji X100V. I'm not going to go into the technical differences, and it's just about the JPEG file differences. So the main focus will be on the JPEG results, which might be a little meaningless, but I'm a POV person, so I just decided to show you the results on these anyways. And also, some of you asked me if I could show you the results of the night photos of Fuji X-M5 with TTR Tizen 27mm lens, so I added a bit of a test at the end. Alright, let's start. So who do I suggest this camera to? Number one, someone who is first to Fujifilm cameras. Number two, someone who wants to experience Fujifilm simulations, including the newest film simulations. Some people wonder about Fujifilm, and most of them are especially attracted to Fujifilm simulations. So if you are new to Fujifilm and would like to try them, Fuji XM5 might be a great option for you. Number three, someone who wants Fujifilm camera with a reasonable price comparing it to the usual highly priced models of Fujifilm. Most of the Fujifilm cameras are expensive. Among those, Fuji X-M5 seems a bit reasonable. And it even contains the recent Fuji's fifth generation sensor with the newest film simulations like Real Ace and Nostalgic Negative. Number four, someone who doesn't really use viewfinders. I thought it would be fine without the viewfinder, but in a bright situation, I definitely needed one. I got TT Artisan 28mm optical viewfinder, which did not arrive yet, but it doesn't fit with the lens I was trying to use, which is TT Artisan 27mm lens. Because Fuji XM5 is an APS-C sensor camera, using TT Artisan 27mm results in around 40mm photo. So if you really don't use the viewfinder often, you are okay to buy Fuji XM5. Number five, someone who doesn't want a heavy camera. Fuji XM5 weighs around 355 grams, including the battery. Using a small lens, it's still not heavy. Number six, someone who is using Fujifilm camera and want a small sub camera with a lens changeable body. I am using Fuji X-T5 and was trying to use Fuji X-M5 as a sub-camera when taking videos and stuff. So if you are planning on that, Fuji X-M5 can be a reasonable camera for you. I'm a POV person, so I'll just simply show you the differences on JPEG results of Fuji X-M5 and the Fuji x 100 v I used TT Artisan 27mm lens on Fuji X-M5, and on both cameras, I used Provia film simulations. I didn't customize other parts at all on film simulations on both cameras.
I don't have any comment on these JPEGs. Just check what you need on these JPEGs. These are the POV videos I took for the JPEG comparison of Wix 100V and XM5. And now let's check on the short results of Fuji XM5's dark environment photos. The environment was a bit darker than this, so I used ISO 400 mostly up to 1600. You can check it on the LCD screen on the camera. In this photo, even though I used ISO 1000, if I zoom it a little bit in, I can see some grain and chromatic aberration. I could see on TT Artisan 27mm lens that it has the vignetting, which I didn't really like seemed like it got worse in the low light situation. This is it for today's video and I'll be back with another POV videos with another camera. Bye!